Finally, it's been a while. But guys, I'm picking up my new build. I purchased this car, sight unseen. I've been standing out here for about 20 minutes. The excitement is overcoming me, so. So yes, I've won another Mark V TDI and it's a solid unit. Yeah, I did it. I purchased another 2006 Mark V Jetta TDR with a BRM engine. Could I not? So stoked to be filming this video on the iPhone in my driveway with an untouched platform because the first YouTube video I ever uploaded to you guys was with my purple car and it was completely built. You guys kind of just got a backstory on it and this gives us a great platform to just completely start off fresh, work together, work with brands, and build a spicy unit over how i got this car why i got this car and where i got this car for starters i was not looking for a mark 5 jetta tdi at all i was not looking for a brm but the other day i got a message from a friend who usually sends me ads from craigslist or facebook i was like dude i'm not gonna like this car i click on the link and i absolutely fell in love i messaged the seller and the seller instantly gets back to me and they're like hey alex and i'm like that's odd somebody knows who i am so then i find out it's my friend matt who actually lives about 45 minutes away from me i'd say and um, he got back to me with a price. He gave me the details. I came back to him with a price. He went ahead and asked his girlfriend because she's the actual owner of this vehicle previously. And um, we worked out a price. He delivered it from over an hour away. And um, now I'm the owner of a beautiful static on BLQs, bone stock Mark V Jetta TDI or the BRM engine what I'm used to. It's a great platform. I have a lot of parts for it and I have a lot of parts on the way. One of the things that really grabbed my attention when I saw this car was not just the BLQs, but the black headlights. I am a sucker for the black Euro housing headlights. These headlights have my heart. And as you guys know, my Mark V had the black headlights and that was one of the first front end mods I'd ever done on the car. So I just love the black headlights. You couldn't get me to ever put a GTI headlights in there, the halos. I don't like them at all. There's definitely a lot of things that I would switch up on this car. I will switch up on this car. The GLI front grille, front trim, these little side pieces, hate them. Also, when the emblem's like this, we hate it. So this is, this is actually how you change it. Perfect. Previous owner was obviously into just blacking out the whole car. We've got the window tint. Then we have the window trim. I hate this. The window trim all blacked out it's been painted hopefully i can get it off with like dry ice blasting or something like that all of this trim here each one of these costs 300 dollars a piece so we got three six nine twelve go to the other side well that's twenty four hundred dollars twenty four hundred dollars for the window trim on this car and you can get these cars all day long for no more than two thousand dollars the other part of this car that really dragged me into it was this freaking sunroof it's so hard to find a mark 5 tdi with a sunroof they're always slick tops and i absolutely hate slick tops the window trim not bad couple creases not as bad as my mark 5 was when i had my hood exit right here all the heat would travel up and it just bubbled all the trim up you're always going to catch me buying mark 5s and sunroofs you're never going to find me buying a slick top if you've got a slick top and you want to sell it to me i don't want it okay if it's free 
maybe. The rust situation on this car is absolutely nothing to be worried about. One, I have a brand new fender in the garage. This whole entire car is gonna get wrapped or painted, so I'm not worried about repainting fenders. I got a brand new OEM fender in the garage. This isn't bad. Let's destroy this with a baseball bat. Maybe we'll do a video on how to roll fenders. I don't really care. Here on the rocker, solid metal, no rust. I don't even know why that's peeled, but it is peeled. Back here, barely any rust. Once again, it's peeled but the rust situation isn't that bad. So that is awesome. These rockers aren't as dented as my other ones. They're really not dented at all. At all, there's this one little dent right here. But besides that, nothing to worry about. These mirrors, absolutely hideous. We are not keeping these. We are gonna do something absolutely sick with the mirrors. The blinkers, absolute junk. I can't wait to smash these off with the hammer for you guys. We are gonna smash these off with the hammer. I don't even care. Brand new. Rotiform BLQs with BF Goodrich tires. Literally just came off the showroom floor and there's a bonus in the back. No, it's not this busted out rivet with this bolt back here that we couldn't get the lace plate off. It's this. A brand new BF Goodrich tire in the back, still in the bag. Full oil change, coolant change, brake fluid, fuel filters. Going into the interior, there's actually some really cool things in here. The interior of this car is done how I would have wanted to do my Mark V, so I'm excited that some of this stuff is already here. I don't like wiring, so we'll, we'll get into that. You gotta wait. So over here, we have a PR1 dash controller, and this has some really cool readouts. So right here, it's actually the boo setting on it. We have your engine cool temperature. We have a speed. Speed is awesome. We're going zero miles an hour. Obviously, we're not moving. Voltage zero to 60 moving onto the steering wheel this thing is absolutely ganged this thing has 226 thousand miles on it and that's crazy because my mark 5 cdi literally had 224 or 226 i can't recall exactly but it literally had the same miles on it so it's like twins they're blue we got the gray interior uh whoo! and then moving over to here we have the headlight switch it's pretty cool commonly known this is where your headlights turn on but all this does is turns on the dash lights <laughs> and yes i know this thing looks wretched it's going don't worry don't don't comment don't comment about it i don't i i don't know i don't know okay don't ask but anyway we have a black forest industry metal shift knob this thing is absolutely freezing in the cold then we have the common shift boot but I'm super stoked because we actually have the Alcantara shift boot from Black Forest Industry and the Black Forest Industry Alcantara shift boot from the purple car that's going into this car. Coming up here, we have the Navigation Kenwood headset. I don't really know anything about this. This might be old, but this is something that's really cool to me because, well, it's a touchscreen. It does some things. It plays some music. We got a smashed up bezel. If anyone has this, if you guys have any mods for Mark Fives, just go ahead, leave down in the comment. Leave your Instagram handle. I'll message you guys and I'll buy parts off you guys. I will buy parts off you because like this is. What is that? Why? And then here we're sponsored by Fly Racing. Why? These have to go. These absolutely have to go. Let's talk about this. So above my head here, we have this really cool headliner. I posted it on my Snapchat story. I've shown my mom, like literally everybody that sees this headliner, they love it. I love it, but it's all sagging. I want a refund. I'm gonna need to rewrap the interior, the headliner. I need black interior parts. Please hit me up. This tint is absolutely, we're in a limo. This car came with a scan tool an inverter i'm actually really stoked on this one the best part of all brand new license plate led lights why do you throw those in the black car i don't know but let's go ahead pop the hood i love tdis baby i love brms this is a turd we need to polish all right so i know it looks like a heaping pile but to me this is liquid gold brms are scarce BRMs are better than ALHs. BRMs are better than your CJAA. Yeah, I feel like I'm talking up one of my children, but that's how I feel about this car. This, these, these cars are literally unmatchable. Car came dirty, sight unseen. It's got all these and I absolutely love it. It shows character and it gives us a platform that we're gonna be able to completely clean. I want it to be a day. I want it to be a surprise, but I have somebody that's gonna come over here, give me a full detail on this car, get a complete top to bottom wash on this car. We're gonna get the wheels polished. We're literally gonna get the full nine yards. We're gonna vlog it. And my buddy's just gonna do the best job ever. And I'm so stoked to one, promote his business and two, to see this turd just go from grime to shine. 
We're going to be changing coolant balls. We're going to be changing boost intercooler pipings. We might go big turbo. We might go out the hood with this thing. This whole entire build is going to be completely off-road use only. I am not going to be registering this car to the road, trailer, track, Alex's driveway, or wherever I go to shows only. We're going to redo underneath the engine bay, chop up these. We're going to go big boy camber. We're going to go big boy power. This car is hopefully going to be making about 400 to 500 horsepower. Before the plans get completely out of hand, we are going to be making this thing absolutely beautiful. We're going to be wrapping it. We're going to be painting it, something of that sort. We're going to get different wheels on it. Of course, we're going to be getting rid of this crappy battery that's brand new. It was literally just manufactured. And we're going to get a race battery. We're going to mount it underneath the bumper. I'm going to show you guys how I did that. We're going to get rid of all of this. It's a crappy air filter that's broken. There's just so many things that we're going to be able to clean up and redo. Like I said, though, this car is going to be race car, off-road use only. This platform is completely bone stock. Stock ECU, stock turbo, stock downpipe, stock cat, stock everything there's nothing done to this car and that's what i am so excited about this is a fresh platform for you and me to build together and document it and have fun that is all this is about at the end of the day it's about having fun smiling creating relationships and it this is literally it it's everything to me and i know to all you guys watching this is everything to you or you're just trying to get into cars so we're gonna make this fun enjoyable super super filled with information for you guys to learn about these things and uh, we're, we're literally gonna touch everything on this car and that's what I'm most excited about. We're gonna be doing everything in house, building this car, and hopefully this car gets me out of, out of here, you know? We're gonna get a shop, we're gonna do it all. We're gonna get a house and it's just gonna be awesome. I just wanna remind you guys that cars are about having fun and they can bring you places and never stop chasing your dreams because bumps will come in the road, but Things like these can really bring you out. So on that note, so guys, smash the subscribe button. Remember to smile. Remember your build is unique to you and uh, follow me on this journey. Let's have fun. Follow my Instagram, at Tilted underscore TDI. Follow me on TikTok, at Alex Wittick 6 And let's hit 100K, guys. Let's hit a million. Let's hit 10 million. And uh, let's keep it fun. So excited. I'm so excited for this build. So hope you guys are as well. I'll see you guys in the next one. Subscribe. And uh, peace. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And thanks for sticking with me. Nobody unsubscribed during that 10 months. And uh, for all you guys who watched to the end, I love you. And I cannot wait to meet all you guys in real life. We're going to take this YouTube channel so far. And it's going to be the coolest thing. I'm so stoked. I, I live for this. So Maybe some more race car things in the future. Lots of race car things.